water on. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 1, 0. First motion. First motion. Vehicle is clear to tower. LV-0007 has cleared the pad and is on its way to space. Our next objective is Max-Q. On the left side of your screen, you'll see the progress of the vehicle uh, through our mission milestones. And you can see velocity and altitude. LV-0007 ascending through some clouds over Kodiak, now looking at onboard views from the rocket. And the vehicle's just started pitching down range. T plus one minute. The vehicle is now through maximum aerodynamic pressure, the point of maximum aerodynamic stress on the vehicle. Next up is main engine cutoff or Miko at just about T plus two minutes and thirty seconds. Everything appears to be nominal at this time. Vehicle's on track downrange. We're confirming that the vehicle is on track downrange and all systems appear nominal, nearly at the end of our first stage flight. And you can see as the rocket ascends to the thinner parts of the atmosphere, you can see the engine plume expanding. That's a gorgeous shot from that onboard camera. And now we're coming up on main engine cutoff just about 20 seconds from now. Option set. There we have fairing Confirmed separation option and a successful stage separation. Look at those gorgeous onboard views. And that of ignition <laughs> of the upper stage ether engine. T plus three minutes, 22 seconds and counting. The upper stage now taking control of the flight. Teams are here in Alameda very excited and rightfully so. Three and a half minutes in the flight, everything on track so far. Again, this burn lasts just over five minutes. We would expect second engine cutoff at T plus eight minutes and 30 seconds. And this second stage's job is to get the payload and itself all the way up to orbital velocity. T plus eight minutes in the flight, all systems nominal. Second stage burn coming to a close here shortly. And there you have it, orbital insertion, second engine cutoff, and Astra's LV-0007 has successfully reached orbit. There is a new orbital rocket. <laughs> and there is the view of the simulated payload, the mass simulator up top, mission success. Just a nine minute trip to orbit, and Astra is in orbit.